What up everybody, happy new year, welcome to 2019. I know I'm probably about seven days late, but I needed some time to think about my new year's resolutions, which is exactly what we're talking about today. So while I wanted to talk about new year's resolutions for 2019, because I'm a big believer in new year's resolutions, I was motivated by a video I saw on Motiversity that talked about some of the reasons some people don't complete New Year's resolutions. And when I saw that video, I 110% believed and agreed with what they were talking about. I'll be honest, today might be a little bit of a rant, but I think there's a lot of value to be had in some of the things we're gonna talk about today. So I'm gonna share why I think a lot of people don't create New Year's resolutions. I'm gonna share some of my actual personal thoughts on New Year's resolutions. And then I'm also gonna share some of the things that might not necessarily be tied directly to New Year's resolutions, but really help me set them for each year, both short-term and long-term, goals that allow me to reach what I'm really trying to accomplish in the long term. I'm sure you guys have asked people, what are you doing for your New Year's resolution? Their response is, I don't do them. This isn't the same for every single person, but 90% of the time, if you really dig into why they're not doing a New Year's resolution, they'll probably give you one of these answers. Either they don't wanna hold themselves accountable, or they're really just afraid of screwing it up and not completing that resolution. And I'm confident in being able to bring this up because I am susceptible to these as well. So the very first reason, is that people are literally afraid that they're not gonna complete their New Year's resolution. Why? Because they've already experienced that failure before. Every single year, I create a list, personal, business, and then of course real estate because that is one of my big focuses right now. And I create something I wanna get completed in the year. I'll set out Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and I've been doing that since I've graduated college. I can tell you right now that I haven't completed every single one. Why? Because I put some goals some New Year's resolutions on there that are just really super challenging. It's almost like a reach goal for me, but I really don't care because I wanna reach for it. And that's a completely different conversation. Number two is accountability. You put something down on a piece of paper, you put something on your dream board, you are now accountable to yourself. You are now responsible to go get your thing done, your goal done, your New Year's resolution done. And in 12 months, if you don't have it done, the only person that you have to blame is yourself. If you guys disagree with me at all, perfect. Go ahead and put it in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are. If you don't think that holding yourself accountable and the actual fear of failing at one of those resolutions or those goals or your plan isn't the reason that you wouldn't set a New Year's resolution, prove me wrong. So what are my overall thoughts on New Year's resolutions? I'm a big believer in short term, long term, and then really a life plan or goals, right? We break it down into different smaller chunks, which is a New Year's resolution, and we can really break it down into personal, business, whatever other goals you have. I personally don't think that you necessarily need to call them a New Year's resolution. It can be your, your plan. I like New Year's plan. I like the, the idea of having goals here, but at the end of the day, it's, it's just moving yourself forward, right? So if you really think about it, in 12 months, you are a very different person. Why? because shit happens. You go through a lot of different experiences. You experience things in work or in college if you're a college student. You experience things in your relationships and they make you grow as a person. So why not take it a step further and actually set yourself some personal goals to actually grow. Set some milestones for yourself. You wanna see yourself a changed person in 12 months and it feels really good to actually accomplish some of these, especially if you set some really outlandish ones. I personally think you need to set some short-term and some long-term goals. I've got up on my board that there's actually an ongoing plan with each year having a different plan and different goals I wanna hit. So I do have my short-term ones with my long-term goals, and of course, what really all of that does is align with, with who I am and what I've found to be my, my quote-unquote why. So I'll just give you a, a really quick example. Up on my board, I do have financially free by 30 years old, and then I also have impact the world. My longer term plan or goals might not necessarily be as detailed as some of my New Year's resolutions. And the reason for that is because I wanna have some vague target, but at least have some idea of where I wanna end up. An example of a much more detailed goal would be one of my New Year's resolutions for 2019 to actually be at 10 doors by the end of the year averaging out $400 in profitability. So what that actually means is I'm at six doors right now and I wanna be at 10 doors. That's 10 units in real estate. That's just one of my real estate goals. That's where I wanna be at the end of 2019. My final thought on New Year's resolutions is the actual timeline of it, right? So everybody thinks New Year's resolutions, you have to have everything set on New Year's. 
you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. I like doing them in the beginning of the year because it is fresh. It's around the holidays. You get time with your family and friends. You get some time around the holidays also to get away from work if you're working a nine to five, which means you can sit down and really refocus on what you want to get accomplished for the year. Life just kind of slows down in terms of the American working world. This is your chance to think about what you want to get accomplished, what kind of goals and the timeline you want to get to completed in 2019. So all of this rolls right back into the very last thing that I want to share with everybody. We're talking about New Year's resolutions, we're talking about goals and plans, and everybody's got a different way of tracking it. I'm slightly OCD when it comes to that kind of thing, which is the only thing I'm OCD about. If we take a look right now at my desk, it's all over the place. Organized chaos, I like to call it. A lot of people call it messy. So the first thing I'm going to start with and what I do in terms of tracking my goals is something called a dream board. Dream board is essentially images or pictures, things that you might, might even put in a shadow box, which you can go ahead and, and Google that and what that looks like, but essentially it's a, fr a picture frame that has a lot of space inside of it. This is my dream board, and it's actually gonna self-focus on there. I'm sharing my dream board because uh, I'll do one of these you can see the dates there, 2011, 2013, 2015. I will redo these, and I normally do it on my birthday or near my birthday. A lot of these are in June. My first one was actually while I was in college. I got materialistic things on here, but this is something that I actually, I'll see as I walk out my door. This is something that I look at, and I'm a big, uh, really big on being a visual person, and being a visual person allows me to obviously Imagine this kind of stuff, a really big believer in putting this in your mind and thinking about this on a regular basis. I, I also have the quotes on the side and then, of course, quotes on the inside as well. But this is just something to really, this is really just something to truly imagine. You can actually see the, the old ones I have here. You take a look. Some of these are definitely older. And the cool thing is that what I'll do is I'll actually mark some of these off as I get them completed. So some of these are like, let's say driving in a Ferrari. I got to do that at one point, rented one. It was a really cool time. And I didn't necessarily need to buy one, but I wrote down on there that I drove it. I got to do it. I have one on here that says President's Club. I made President's Club in 2012, 13? I can't remember. Actually. 2014 is what the actual award says. Got one on here that was one day I'll write a book. I put the date on there. That was something that happened three years later. A lot of this stuff is extended and some of the stuff I don't get done, but I keep them because one day I will knock everything off of these dream boards, which is why I keep track of it. So these aren't necessarily New Year's resolutions, but kind of like a little side piece to my New Year's resolutions, my, my longer term goals, the things that I want to be able to wake up and look at every single day when I'm walking out the door. The number two piece to this, my bucket list book I have. I've essentially created, and it all, I'm always adding to it, I think I have about 80 to 90 things in here from anywhere from becoming a 50 stater, which I will get done this year, travel overseas, go backcountry boarding, climb a volcano, become a millionaire, things like that. And I'm always adding things, but at the same time, I'm also marking them off as we, are, as we are going through these. And I'll mark the date on there as well. Where this comes into play is I will actually look through my bucket list and look through the year and figure out what things do I want to mark off. And I'll pick one, two, three things that I want to mark off this year, and I'll put it on my personal New Year's resolutions. This is kind of like a lifetime bucket list, and I'll continue to mark things off and it gives me on the personal side something to always add to my New Year's resolutions. I actually used Shutterfly for this and just added the images and bought a book that was essentially empty pages and then just filled everything in if anybody is actually curious about that. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope that wasn't too much of a rant and you actually took away a couple of different ideas. Go ahead and like the video and comment in the section below. I will put the uh, Motiversity video in the description below and then of course Remember, if you want to come back for more content, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell right next door. I got a lot of goals and plans for 2019. I hope you guys do as well. And I'm really excited to share my journey with you this entire year. See ya.